The Nevo implant from Tommen Medical is characterized by a cylindrical coronal portion featuring a machined collar and an innovative tapered core body in the apical area. The outer contour of Nevo is cylindrical for the majority of the implant body, which makes it a very balanced cylindrical tapered design. Its features make it a universally applicable dental implant that can be used in all bone densities. The tapered apex has particularly been designed to enhance stability in clinically demanding situations like extraction sockets or low-density bone. Nevo implants are defined by their platform size which refers to the implant abutment connection. Each platform diameter is color-coded and therefore easily identifiable. Nevo implants are available with a platform size of 3.5, 4.0, 4.5 and 5.0. The indicated collar height refers to the height of the machined part of the implant. Nevo implants are offered with a minimized collar, MC, a regular collar, RC, and a long collar, LC. Other specifications include the endosseous length, consisting of the cylindrical and apical length, the endosseous diameter, the apical core diameter, and the core diameter, which correlates to the diameter of the drill hole. All Nevo implants feature the conditioned superhydrophilic in a cell surface. The same surgical cassette can be used for Nevo, Element and Contact implants. Implant bed preparation for Nevo requires the same vector drills and profile drills as needed for Element. During the following drilling instructions, the placement of different Nevo implants with a platform size 4 and an endosseous length of 11 mm will be demonstrated. For a platform 4 implant, you will need to reach a drilling diameter of 3.5. For Nevo implants, the final vector drill must be used at least as far as the first depth marking of 6.5 mm. This applies to all platforms and implant lengths. This preparation of the osteotomy, based on the core diameter of the implant, prevents underpreparation and the compression of the surrounding bone. For a supercrestally placed implant with an endosseous length of 11 mm, you will have to drill to a depth of 11 mm. Use the corresponding depth gauge after drilling to confirm the drilling depth. For supercrestal placement of Nevo RC implants, preparation with the final vector drill requires drilling at least to the first depth mark of 6.5 mm. Please note that for Nevo implants the final depth gauge cannot be used to confirm the final drilling depth, but just to confirm the drilling axis. In hard bone conditions, the implant bed preparation should be adapted by adjusting the drilling depth with the final vector drill. The implant site can be prepared up to the final endosseous length. The apically extended implant bed allows the reduction of the insertion torque in hard bone. For a subcrestally placed implant with an endosseous length of 11 mm, you will have to drill to a depth of 12.5 mm. This will ensure enough space to place the machined implant collar into the bone. Follow the required drilling steps. 
For the subcrestal placement of a Nevo RC implant, preparation with the final vector drill requires drilling at least to the 8 mm depth mark. Use the Nevo slash element profile drill for platform 4 until the upper depth indicator after the final vector drill. MC implants are designed for epicrestal positioning. Their collar height is calculated as part of their endosseous length. Start by using the Vectadrill Pilot Drill. For an epicrestally placed MC implant with an endosseous length of 11 mm, you will have to drill to a depth of 11 mm. Follow the required drilling steps. For Nevo MC implants, Preparation with the final vector drill requires drilling at least to the 8 mm depth mark. In addition, use the Nevo slash element profile drill until the upper depth indicator after the final vector drill. LC implants are designed for supercrestal positioning. Start by using the Vector Drill Pilot Drill. For a Nevo LC implant with an endosseous length of 11 mm, you will have to drill to a depth of 11 mm. Follow the required drilling steps. For Nevo LC implants, Preparation with the final vector drill requires drilling at least to the 6.5 mm depth mark. If you wish to insert the healing cap, Twist the cover of the Appliquit container and engage the healing cap with a mono screwdriver. Ensure that the interior of the implant is clean and free of blood to enable proper closure. Screw in the healing cap by hand until it is in slight contact with the implant shoulder. For final tightening, use the mono torque ratchet with the indicated maximum torque of 10 newton centimeters. Other than the healing cap, Common Medical also offers various types of gingiva formers and a wide range of temporary and final abutment solutions for restorative flexibility. When placing the healing cap, gingiva former or temporary abutment, make sure you reach a passive fit of the abutment on the implant. This will already be reached with the use of the profile drill in the majority of cases. However, excess bone around the implant may still be physically impeding a tight closure of the microgap. In case of excess bone, a bone contouring instrument must be used before placing the abutment. Removing the bone will ensure a tight closure of the microgap and a proper mechanical function and stability of the implant abutment connection.